you are so serious about making money, this is the channel for you. Hello there and welcome in this lecture in which I'm going to show you how you can use the green screen inside of Runway ML, which is going to help you to remove the background off of any video. Without further ado, let's get right into it. So here we are inside of Runway ML. We're going to do it the easy way and we're going to do it the hard way. The easy way is to take one of the videos that they have. But first off, click on Remove Background inside of Runway ML. That'll take you right here. And right here is where the action starts because you need to pick, pick an asset. So there's plenty of assets here that you can use. And uh, pick one of them that you think is something you want to remove the background from. Now I'm going to click on the Shared Demo Assets. So here we have some demo assets. I'm not so sure that those are going to be good. Actually, on second thought, I'm probably going to pick this one here. So now this, is it a video? I'm not sure if it's a video. I think that that is an image. Yeah, it's an image, not even a video. So I will think I'm going to go and upload a video from my computer. So I searched for a man running in uh, Pixabay, and then we'll need to go and find a man running. So here, coincidentally, we have this man running, and, and there's a green screen in the back, and we have some other guys running here as well. Now I'll pick something where uh, it is a little bit clear because I'm not sure how the dark images are going to go. So probably, now this one is an image, not a video. I need, this one is pretty good. So I'm going to click this one here, right? Now, when you click this, you can go ahead and download it by clicking here. This is a pretty good one. So I think it's going to work pretty well. Now that I've downloaded it, let me head back into the green screen option. Now I can drag and drop or select an image. So I'm going to click or choose the upload process, upload a video instead. So I'm going to upload a video. So there it is. This is the one there is. There it is. The video has now been uploaded and is, it is processed. So once it's uploaded, we can go ahead and start using it. So I'm going to click here and I'm going to drag the video up here or here, pretty much the same. And once you drag it, the video is immediately going to be placed here, right? So now this is their tutorial. So they're showing you, you need to click on uh, uh, the, uh, the, the parts that you want to stay. So obviously the parts that we want to stay is the, the guy who's walking. So we want to remove everything else besides him. And then we want to change the background to something else. But first off, click. And here you need to go. Now you can zoom in, right? Everything here is comprehensive. You can click and zoom uh, in a bit. So zoom a little bit more. You have the pan option to move back and forth like this by clicking it. And you have the selector, which is basically the mask. I'm going to select this area, which is the head. I'm going to select another one here, which is the, uh, another part of the head. And as you can see, basically after I've done that, let me zoom out. It selected the man with no issues, but is it right? Because when you, for example, let's say I zoom out and I zoom in, zoom in some more and zoom in some more and some more. Notice that here underneath, there is some areas which still need to be removed, right? So to the to the naked eye, we will not be able to see them, but they don't look that cool, right? They, they look not that cool. So we need to remove them. So I'll, I'll keep the zoom at 400%. And I'll show you one thing. Here, you have the controls and in the controls, you have the refine option. I always like to work with the brush. So I'm going to click on the brush. The brush size at this moment is 10. You can reduce it to less than 10 if you want. So for instance, here, I want this to be a little bit about maybe five, a little bit less, five. And then here, you can control the feather. So I'm going to increase the feather a bit because I don't want it to be harsh. I want it to remove the excess bits like this. So, and by the way, before removing any excess bits, you have to make sure that you click on the exclude option. I didn't click on it. That was my mistake. So I'm going to go back and undo what I have just done. And then I would like to click on the exclude option because I want to exclude this area with the brush. And now if you start doing this, notice that it starts taking away that excess, which makes the video look a little bit better. Now we're not done here because here as well, we have this excess bit. Now, of course, hypothetically, some people would say, well, we don't really need to go that detailed. It's just me. And then if we scroll down here into the fingers, notice that the fingers are actually, there is some green screen there. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to increase the size a little bit more. And obviously here, and I'm going to clear this gap like this. 
and also from the size, so like so, to make sure that uh, they look realistic and nothing wrong with them. Now, here as well, I think that this area needs to go, so I'm going to remove that. And then if we scroll down, we have another area here, I believe, that needs to go. And if we scroll down some more, here is where we need to get started with a little bit of work, and we need to remove that excess bit. Now here, this is not the leg, so I'm going to have to make sure that I don't touch the leg. I touch only the green screen. And if you made any mistake, what you can do, you can click on the include, and then you can go and get back what you have deleted by, by brushing it. Uh, picture yourself as if you're using a brush. Now here, for this leg, it's not bad, so I'm not going to have to bother with that. I'm going to scroll to the top and see if there's anything else I need to do. So this is good. The man is selected. I don't need to do anything else. But if I preview, things might start to appear, right? So now here I need to zoom out to about um, 100%. And I see that now, if, for instance, I zoom in now, now let me pause. I already see some inconsistencies. I already see some inconsistencies in the green screen. If I were to zoom in and zoom in, and then I don't think I can zoom in anymore, but I can click on the pan to show you what I'm talking about. Notice that in between his hands, there is some green there. So that's going to stick when he's walking and we don't want that, right? So what I'll have to do is I'll have to keep things like this. I'll just gently move the cursor around. Now they have to do something about this loading, loading stuff. Now here, while the, the video is loading, notice that here as well in between his legs. Um, there is that green stuff. So we have to edit this all the way through, right? So assets can get difficult. So uh, choose your choose your asset widely, wisely. So for instance, here, when he closes his legs and he tries to walk, there is a scene here. No, not this one. This one is not too bad. But this one is where it starts to get a little bit bad. So what you need to do, you need to click on the exclude, choose your brush, and make sure you go to the area and clean the area by removing the excess part, which is the green part, as always. Now, I'm just going to be concentrated on that for now. And then, what you need to do is you need to move a little bit. Now, also, this one, this part needs to go because that's not the hand. The hand is this, right? And then, now we need to click on the play button again to see. All right, so it should show me... Um, it should show me that he's walking. Okay, so not bad here. But I should pick up the areas where it starts to get bad. For example, here, from here, it started to get bad because you can see that green stuff here as well. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to make sure I remove this part entirely. We, we don't want to keep it. We want to make sure that we see through. So make sure that you remove that. And also from here, there's that little green part I'm not sure if you're seeing what I'm seeing, but, and then I'm going to actually move the needle a little bit to an area where maybe there is some kind of an issue. Now let me zoom out. Right. So here there is an issue. There it is. I'm going to have to move this up until here, remove all excess from here as well. Remove all excess. The hands are pretty good. There's nothing wrong with them. And I can move the needle back here and then play again. Now, this was a pretty marathonian scene. Let's watch. Let us watch right here. Okay, so there's another inconsistency. I caught it with my eye. I have to move the cursor until I find it. I think it's literally after this. So it's usually you need to do this frame by frame to ensure that uh, there's nothing wrong. Right? There's still going to be issues, but you have to do your best to ensure that uh, at least you don't make a mistake knowingly. Now, I think that there was something there, but um, the way I see it is um, it's not too bad. So it, didn't, it, it doesn't look like a bad thing. Now, let me play this and see. Yeah, here we definitely need to start editing things. Now, for this, I'm probably going to exclude this little bit and also this right here. And um, I'm going to not play. I'm just going to move this slightly. 
ever so slightly. And you see here, here again, we need to remove that excess bit. Shows the there. And then again, move again. And hopefully this one, right, as you can see, now this one, I'm going to have to reduce the brush size to about, now I can control it from here. I'm going to remove it down to six and uh, so that it's not as big as the other. And then I can cut through this like a knife through butter. Probably the uh, leg parts, you can also cut through them a little bit more, but uh, let me just move on. Let's see if there's anything else. There is, a, there is something else. So this one also needs to go. As you can see, let me keep playing. Now I'm going to play right now. Let's see. Play. Okay. So you can see that there has been some technical issue here. Let me click again. Preview button. All right. So this is going to start from scratch again. All right. Not bad, not bad. I don't see anything wrong. Now, though, I see something wrong here. Uh, so I'll have to go to it. I have to do this step by step. Step by step. Step by step. Until I catch that, that phase where there is that mistake. That's that, that glitch. That small glitch. I'm not sure. All right, so I'm not sure. I'm not sure where it is. So I'm going to move this right till the end. I think that uh, we need to be moving. Let's preview uh, what's going on with this. I think that um, there might be some technical issue here. Now, I don't want to answer that survey. Okay, so I think I'm just going to click done here because obviously there is some kind of a technical issue going on. So I'm going to pause and here I'm going to click done masking. Uh, so once you're done masking, you can move to the next step you'll have to wait now they'll move you here and they'll move the character right with you as well so they'll take the character you extract the character and you can basically apply a different background to it so if you want to apply a different background you can apply a different background but first let's just wait for it to load now here we have the option to click on upload and basically you can upload a background now i already have uh, a pretty good video of the of the tornado i'm not gonna i'm not sure gonna, how it's gonna work with this but i'm definitely gonna go and try it out so i'm gonna click on the upload button instead so here we have the tornado video which you can basically drag and drop and once you drag and drop it it takes its place immediately right here and it will start uh being implemented so let me just go ahead and watch this let's see uh, it's working on it in the background now you can see my character walking to, through the tornado, which is uh, quite cool. Let's watch. It seems like he's uh, walking right through the tornado. Now, what I can do with this as well, I'm not sure if they have this, but they, there's an option which can um, increase or decrease the speed of a video. So for instance here, this one, I'm not sure. Yeah, they have it as well. They have it inside of every video editor. So if I make this 0 0.5, for example, is going to increase the size of the video, right? And I can also crop this a little bit because we don't need that much. And uh, this is pretty cool, right? So it's gonna create a pretty good uh, video for us. And at the same time, I could, I could drag my character a little bit down so that he would look like he's walking through a road, right? And you can also uh, reduce his size. So he doesn't have to appear huge like that. And uh, from actually, I don't want to move that one. So I'm going to go back and place it there. And then there is our character. So I can place him a little bit here. And then let's watch this. This is pretty fun. As you can see, it seems like he's walking uh, right to the tornado. tornado and and uh, it's quite cool, isn't it? Right? Because he's walking on grass, right? So once you're done with your design, uh, you can go ahead and export the work by clicking here. And uh, there's 4K, 1000, but the project size is too small for those sizes. So I'm just going to go ahead here and say, man walking through a tornado. Never happened because this guy is so brave. Here, I, I want it to be a, an MP4 and that's it, right? So our guy is walking through the tornado. Let's go and give it another look first before... Moving on to the topic of the next lecture. The project is now exporting and you can see the percentage here 
on the left-hand side. It's right now at 25%. At any time, you can cancel the export and you can start working in the back end. Now, this is the green screen. It's pretty fun. That's why they call it the green screen because you can really make people do tremendous things. And uh, this option is not available in, in, in a lot of software out there. So it's pretty much only available in tools like these. And uh, there's not many, some, many tools out there that can make a man walk. I just like to give it another look here, right? It's really cool. He's, he's walking very slowly to the tornado. Maybe he wants to take a selfie, but uh, anyways, I think that that's pretty cool. Let's wait for the entire video to be rendered. So I'll go back into the assets here. I'm gonna click to go back home and I'll go to check my video assets because normally it should be there with all the assets. So I'm gonna click all assets here and it should display the video of my uh, my creation here. Man walking through a tornado, uh, recently exported. Let's click on it. And here I think we can download it by clicking here. There you go. Have an MP4 of a man walking through a tornado. So if you're thinking of creating a YouTube channel about viral stuff, uh, then probably you can use the help of green screen to, you know, uh, fuel your channel. Now I made a mistake at the end by moving this a little bit. Uh, so it, it shows the green screen, but I shouldn't have done that amateurish mistake of moving the, the scene, but it's looking pretty good. I like it. I like the way he's boldly walking right through a giant tornado with lightning on it. Probably he's trying to get it into his car. At least this is what people might might say. Uh, they might say, well, uh, he's walking to his car. But anyways, I think that uh, this is it, and I'll see you in the next lecture.